glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Rivalries are the lifeblood of college football. Kent State and Bowling Green finishing up their warm-up in the battle for the anniversary award. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Bowling Green is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Vincent takes it at the 8. Tackle at the 31-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. stop right around the 34. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 34-yard line, third down. He's scrambling. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Man left, man left. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Anderson fakes the handoff, zips it to the back. Excellent open field tackle. Walker makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. That'll make it 35. Pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Brooks got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Bowling Green's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. It's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for him so far. He really has, and I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and, and visit with so many of these players to find a high-profile wide receiver who's a selfless guy. He's a great leader from everything that they've told us. He's a guy that wants to go out there and make sure that the team gets to win first before he gets his catches. 
Kind of a rare breed in today's game of college football, but he's an exceptional player. First guy on the field and the last guy off at practice. Here's a run. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Mason's the type of player that any coach would dream to have on their roster. And today could really be historic for him. He's on the verge of breaking a record here. He should be awfully proud of what he's been able to accomplish. Going right to his tailback. He's taken down at the 44. works it can be beautiful to watch but when it doesn't it can go horribly wrong not a good result for the offense they've got to play with some focus and smarts here they don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing Quick pass, and they push him out at about the 43-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. First down. Scrambling around. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Out to his wide out, and he's tackled right around the 32 yard line. So at the end of one, still no score. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Wide open, and he just drops it. They're going to come up short here on third down to be able to pick up this first down, but at least they're in field goal range, and a smart coach will always take three points when he gets an opportunity. Mason, back deep to return. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's out to the 30, has it to the senior. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. And for Mason, he continues to rack up those impressive receiving yards. This is a pretty staggering career figure he's coming up on. To even be this close tells you how skilled he is at catching the ball. 
They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, brought down at the 43-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Passes to his tailback again. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the official judgments can have a big impact on a game. And he's taken down at the 40. anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Two tight, two tight. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Mike 51. Oh. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. They put everyone up on the line. Caught it and tackled. He didn't make it. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From midfield. First down. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. tries to buy some time. He dives and he'll be marked down. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Kent State's going to use their first time out of the half here. About two minutes before halftime. And that sets them up for the first and goal. So the run goes for another first down. And Kirk, they're really having some trouble stopping this kid on this drive. The offense is just winning the battle up front. Right now, the defense knows the run is coming. They just can't stop it. Touchdown, Kent State. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. 
converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. Here's a hotly contested battle. South Carolina on top, 3 0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Brooks is lined up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Around the 33 yard line. Logan awaits the snap. Vincent takes it at the 33, and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Kent State is up seven. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop right around the 50. Now he's scrambling. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Caught over the middle. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. And it's caught. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. They pick up two on the pass play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kent State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standing. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Gamecocks have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. The Gamecocks have the edge, 10-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. The Golden Flash with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half. As a result, you get yourself a two-score lead, but you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously, you can give this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up. But you built a two-score cushion. You've got, you've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So... I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you are at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll take it from the two. And he's taken down to the 30-yard line. Golden flashes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes at the 38. at midfield he gets out to about the 44 yard line so the option play gets some big yards right there yeah you know it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find a hole and get through it zips it to the back tackle at the 34 yard line at the 20. Makes it to the 14. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. That's a deep turn. Better make it second in inches. simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 71-yard drive and a touchdown as a result. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job. But really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. So our score, 10-7. From the 8-yard line, he makes it to the 28-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Kent State has a 3-point lead. Fires out quickly with the tailback, and he's tackled right around the 30. It's second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 30. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Hardy brings him down the 37-yard line. 
Third down. Third down. Stewart will try the left side. They bring him down in the backfield. Tate back to return it. Tate takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Just throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. Mike 51. Mike 51. Ready. Tackle made at the 46. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. Looking for his man, incomplete. From the 46-yard line, second down. Got an opening. He makes his way to about the 28. Maybe the 13 yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Golden Flash lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they got him for a loss. No game. That brings up fourth and 11. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Bowling Green is looking to tie things up. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Garcia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Fires across the middle, and he's taken down at the 38-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Catches it, and he's punished. Hardy with the tackle at the 45-yard line. That'll bring up 
second and three. Makes it to the 47. Gaining eight yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Down right around the 38 yard line. Nine yards. That brings up second and one. So at the end of the third quarter, this one's all even at 10. All tied up, and we head to the all important fourth quarter. Here's the give. He makes it to the 38-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. He fights forward to about the 30. It's second and nine. Ball on the 30. After a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it third and three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. On the ground, left side. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Mike 42, Mike 42, ready, ready five. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First down. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Mike 42, Mike 42. Just under three to go in regulation. He's scrambling. Nice play to set up first and goal. Well, the offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Touchdown, Kent State. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He makes the PAT. Kent State is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21. Bowling Green's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Makes it out to about the 29. After the 
Houston picked up. Just over two minutes in the game. Brought down in the open field. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. that takes the field on fourth down. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. complete to the halfback over the middle and down he goes right around the 26 yard line on the play that makes it second and eight 51 Mike Mike 51 Larry Larry it up 25 25 catches it and he's looking for more tackle around the 18 yard line Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Throws complete. He's got space to work. What a play, and that is first and goal. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. This is the 11th play of this drive. taken down at the one yard line you know what after a play like that i wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again from the one yard line it's second down pressured and brought down loss of 10 yards on the play gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth and goal. They're on the nine-yard line, and I'd probably be expecting a pass to the end zone here. And it all comes down to this play right here. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. When the first down marker is that far away, Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. This one's in the books. Golden Flashes get the win. 17-10.
Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.